All right, it's time for another Gax Blast from the Past. Oh, really? Um, this week, uh, this is probably a little film clip that everybody has seen, uh, but everybody? it brings back good memories to Mr. Petroselli, I'm sure. And we're going to... have no memory uh, left. Actually, you're in this, by the way. Really? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go back to 1975, John. And Bernie Cabo has tied the game against game six against the, uh, was it five or six? Six. Game six against the St. Louis Cardinals. Bernie Cabo has tied it up. And now it goes into extra innings. And one, Carlton Fisk is up at bat. The Fisk shot. <laughs> And the wind blowing out. We've had three homers tonight, all the right field or right or center field. Carbos was to dead center. The other two to right. There's a ball. Notice you jumping on his back. Yeah. Chrissy, watch Rico. He jumps on his back. Big deal. Here's this. Bang. There it goes. A long drive. If it stays fair, home run. that ball oh good now look at the kids watch him give one kid a shove well yeah they're not supposed to be on the field right there boom now watch Rico Chrissy when they're running off Rico's on his back it fell down oh I see yeah yeah I see (laughs) watch they couldn't get the watch (laughs) now you're looking for your hat (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we yeah. will have a seventh game in this 1975 World Series. Now, I was Carlton in the dugout. Fisk becomes the first player in the series to hit one over the wall into the net. Red Sox win it 7-6 to six in 12 innings. And Carlton Fisk had a lot of little boy in him right there, Joe. He took one step, knew it was going to be close. He knew it was gone, and it was dancing in the streets all the way around. Johnny Pesky greets him at first base, and he is dancing. A lot of body English for Carl Fisk. Uh, watch him. <laughs> How many steps does he take? One. He waits to see it. Fit that was amazing. <laughs> that really was. He knew it. There it is. <laughs> that is. I tell that you, is. One of that is such an iconic piece of film. Well, especially for Boston. Oh, yeah, God. I, John, I, John, I was, I was uh, 22 years old. Uh, I had just gotten out of college. I was teaching college up in Maine. And, uh, teaching college. Teaching elementary school up in Maine. And I'll never forget that as long as I live. Because I'm by myself in my living room, and I was jumping up and down like a lunatic. John, you remember that game, of course, right? Oh, of course. Of course. And, you know, I'm looking at the expression on Rico's face. Takes him back. You relive that a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was. uh, You were in the dugout. I was in the dugout, and we jumped, and the dugout Fenway was small. (laughs) You hit your head? I almost hit my head. I came, I, I actually hit it. Thank God I didn't really, you know, whack it. Uh, yeah. But it was so exciting. But I was on first base when Carbo hit the three-run home run to tie it. And I still get the chills when I think of that. That was a, you know, that is such an underrated piece of baseball history. Because if it's not for Bernie Cabo, there is no Cotton Fisk home run. Right. You know, that was a three-run. It was a great sh- series. Uh, Cincinnati was a great team. You know, a great, little great uh, little hobby trivia, you know, mm-hmm. Fisk used Rick Burleson's bat to hit that That's home run. That's right, you're right.